Hi, hello. Uh, my name is Vincent. Uh, I'll be showing off Doobie today. Um, the game released first, 2008, part of Konami's Bemani series. Um, I've been playing, hard to say, how far, how, how, how long I've been playing. Um, I tend to switch between a lot of rhythm games, but I've been playing actively since 2016. Mike, up. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I think this. Oh, right. Yeah, the game. Um, so the objective is to hit the 16 squares when the marker reaches a certain point in its animation. Um, I think we'll just get into it. Yeah, I think and, we should uh, get into it. And I will. My just... commentator, Opadi Jesper, will yeah. uh, guide yeah. us through it. I will tag along for the ride. <laughs> I will give you some love to this game. I will also walk you through the mechanics whilst Vincent play. So, as said, this is a rhythm game. Um, the markers that will appear are on 16 squares on the playfield. So, Vincent is just gonna chime in. And uh, after that, we are good to go with a pretty standard song to get you going, maybe get into the vibe. And maybe you can tag along at home, maybe, maybe not tap on your nice new Sonic scripts, but yeah. Um, so this is the thing that uh, you will see a lot of different patterns and also held notes or hold notes, which means you have to press a button and keep it held throughout the duration. Um, the first song will emphasize on this mechanic very heavily. Um, the first song that we are going to see is called Meltdown. Uh, it's a level 6 from uh, uh, on a, um, a level meter go that goes from 1 till 10.9. Uh, throughout the uh, showcase, you will see a variety of these levels, and hopefully, we will get to see the 10.9 at the end. Music. Here we go! First off, Meltdown. So yeah, what's going on here is that we're actually buying bonus songs, which means we have four songs every credit instead of three. So, welcome to Jubit. Enjoy the ride. First tune. Ready? Go! So all these markers, they light, they light up in the all, all the colors of the rainbow. Um, some of you might spot that it says perfect on a lot of them, which is the perfect timing for this game. Um, I will not go into detail regarding the different timing windows, but you can get anything from like a miss to a great to a perfect. Um, you will also see arrows going over the playfield. These are the so-called holes, in which you need to keep the button pressed while you do all the other stuff as well. And there we see the hold note. Uh, for you interested, at the top of the screen you can see like a measure counter kind of. That's uh, where you see a lot of the you know, colored yellow. Uh, if you see that it's all yellow, it's all perfect. If you see that the bar is slightly blue, it will be a full combo, but not a perfect section. So, we also see a grade here. Uh, triple S, uh, which is, yeah, as you can spot, a very high score. But I don't think we should delay anymore with the easy stuff, right? We should get straight into the next song that is Honey Bunny, a level 9.4. What's special about Honey Bunny? There's not really much special about it. It's uh, just a song I 
like to warm up with. Uh, it's one I've been playing a lot. Um, um, regarding the uh, level rating on this game, uh, or in this uh, song, it says 9.4. Um, which means it's a mid-tier uh, level 9. So 9 and 10 also have decimal points in the yes. rating system. So, um, should we get to it? Yeah. Let's go! Second tune. Ready? Go! So, I've been told this is rather straightforward with some slides and streams. Not too much to say about that more than smooth. Um, I love the fact that we have a high train back here. Uh, once you find your next song, I will just give them a big cheers. And I, I've been in the exact same spot that uh, Vincent are in right now, and the high train behind is just amazing. Uh, next up, we have a true, true fan favorite, I would say, especially regarding the, the game that comes up next. So. For all your Castlevania lovers out there, let's go. Final tune. Ready? Go!
the Castlevania Cross at the end. So what you just witnessed was, was a full combo on a 9.7. And I dare to say that now it's getting interesting. Now we're in for the more advanced stuff. Um, yeah, next up is Sahara. Uh, so whilst you go find that one, I can tell you a little bit what you saw that there at the end. Uh, that was a cross. And um, U-Bit is a game that pretty much take advantage of all the possibilities you can do with this kind of patterning, like making digits or making symbols or whatever that suits the specific run. We're entering uh, level 10 mode now. So this is Sahara, a banger from Pomaryu. And you got anything to say or you just want to play? Vincent want to play, of course. Let's go for Pomaryu. This is a banger. Uh, this is a true banger. According to me, it got a lot of BPM changes and cool patterns. Ready? So the first 10 of the night. Go. Enjoy. After this song, Arctic, kick it away with some donations because we will have a small intermission when entering a new credit. Kick it away. Awesome. I hope you're all ready for some more GB action. We got plenty of love in the comments here. We got a massive $200 donation Woo! from Yugi, who says, Big shout out to Vincent from all of us here in Team Flower. You make the EU Ben Manny community awesome, and I hope this showcase inspires more people to come join in on the fun of rhythm gaming. We've also got a $100 donation here from our very own Paulister, who says, Hey, all, your friendly neighborhood Paulister here. Gotta be here for the GB showcase, and I have to see that 1116 incentive being met. So here's my bet for that. Having spent so much time on this arcade in the past ESAs and present, I feel like I have to represent, and so should you. Let's see that 1116 song. We are at $872 for that out of the 1,116 needed. We are less than 400 away. We've got until the end of the run to see this. If you want to see that legendary song, get it in now. Thank you, RJ. So, next up is a song that's called Proof, Proof of the Existence. And Vincent, talk a little bit about that song for me. So, um, this is a song that's a um, uh, crossover from another Bemani game, uh, Beatmania 2DX. It's a boss song from uh, Precora, the 20th installment. Um, yeah, it features uh, fast burst, triplets, a bit of everything. Let's get into it. Awesome. Yeah, as you can see, some of the rhythm games actually use each other's songs, which is just great. You get new interpretations of everything. Ready? 
kick it away. 10.3 in level. relaxing moments during the songs for a measure or two. Let's get back into it. Just short of a full combo. Yeah, up, let's get past that and head into. Let me hope I don't destroy this name. Neri to Kohakutu. Um, this song originates from the Nostalgia game series, so piano will be the leading instrument in this one. Second tune. Ready? Go! This will probably be the most soothing part of this showcase, even though it's fast. And there he closes out the full combo on a 10.3 in a live event. That's amazing. 
RG, do you have anything to squeeze in quick? Oh, squeeze in. We got a lot to squeeze in right now. Here's a quick one. $50 from Mega Keck that says, What a showcase. Need to see that 1116. We are less than $50 away from that. Let's make it happen. So let's stick around in the 10.3 level section still. And uh, next song up is Squeeze. Uh, Squeeze is a song collaboration made by three great rhythm game um, composers. So that's kind of fun to see. You ready, Vincent? I'm ready. The audience is ready. It's got to get, get it even more streamy now. Even more streamy. I love that. Enjoy this finger work. Let's go. Final tune. Ready? Go! So Arjik is vibing, we love this. close to full combo amazing performance and it does seal the triple s right amazing so yeah with no further ado let's go into lucka kissed uh, the first 10.4 of the night right yeah amazing um so what you just experienced was some uh, yeah fast-paced streams but how about we up that a notch? This song is high BPM, fast taps, so we should go. Bonus tune. And Arjik, ready? After this tune, you get go. some more time.
three combo breakers. Amazing performance. Odic. Thank you. We, we're going to quick fire around to quite a lot here. We got a $50 donation from Boosh that just simply says heart put in towards the Rhythm Game Showcase. We got a $25 from Silky Way that says greetings from Austria to all my fellow fellow Rhythm Game players out there. Jubeat rocks. We've also got another $14.30 donation from Boss that says oop, got to see a clean 5k. We're well past that now, mate. There you go. We've also got a $25 from Domo DMD that says not sure what I'm watching. I'm in a bar in Maine but I like it. Cheers. And uh, we've also got a $15 donation from Zenin that says, get that 1116 combo. Best wishes from the West Coast team. And I can happily say, we're getting that song. We're getting that showcase. It's been me. <laughs> Keep your donations coming. And we got plenty more GB, plenty more songs, and we will read them out. Everyone here in the chat, keep getting hype as well. People are loving it. And uh, just get up, keep that hype train in the front going. Like, everybody get involved. Give me something for of this song. So, this is Jazz is Rad. Tell me, what's Jazz it is, all about? Jazz is Rad. Oh, great song by Arm together with Brass Capital. Um, yeah. Jazz. Jazz. You, you yeah, like jazz? Yeah, we like jazz. We love jazz, right? Let's get into it. So I would say this song would fit perfectly in a cuphead boss battle, but that's just me, right? Tune. Ready? Go! So, I will just tell you, Vincent, to keep playing right now because I think we might be running a little tight on schedule. So, just find the song and I will introduce it. Uh, next up is Niflheim. Uh, at the first 10.6 of the night, so now we're upping the speed just a little bit more and some more technical skills as well. Uh, not much to say than this is hard. It's getting really hard now. Yeah. Enjoy. Second tune. Ready? Go! So this song is considered a 10.6 and with the incentive met we will see a 10.9 at the end of the showcase.
Ardik, do you have something very fast to just put out there? We do indeed. We have a $25 donation from Minty105 that says, Yeah, go Vincent! <laughs> Next up is Everybody's Rich 10.6. It's Jesse times again, you know, so it's weird and it's technical. Try to keep up. Tune. Ready? And once again, we're getting into. No, we have bonus tune as well. After that, it's you, Arctic. So, you remember the holes we were talking about before? Welcome to Help Help. Next up, we got Yume no Kanata De. It's a 10.6 level, and this song is bo by Camellia. Do I have to say more, right? So, some nice chip tunes coming up. Bonus tune. Ready? Go!
RJ, let's get to it. All Before right. We enter the final credit. We got plenty more coming in here as well. We got a $7 donation from Swelly Swell Swell that just says, the crowd needs to lose those shares and let out some moves. <laughs> I know those are the front row, but doing that in a minute. We got a $50 donation from Tojin that says, needs more tunes, and we are getting more of those tunes. $20 from Tone Def Leopard that says, let's go, Vincent. I don't know what 1116 is, but I gotta see it, and we definitely will. $10 donation from Definitely Not FX that says, Juby, this is such a great game. Love to see you on the big stage, and let's get that incentive met. So I love to see how like so many rhythm games uh, throughout like Europe, the world is coming together and like hyping this up. I see so many names, I hear so many names from the donations that I recognize from communities playing all kind of rhythm games. It's, so, it's, it's a blessing to see. Thank you. So we were into the um, uh, hard frontier, but now we're getting into the Welcome crazy frontier. Um, next song coming up is Last Dress. The first 10.7 for the night. Uh, this is some really hard stuff. Um, this song is actually... This is the first song for the U-Beat series made by composer Harunaba. So it's kind of cool to come as a composer and your first song instantly become one of the game's hardest songs. Music. He's asking me how we're doing on time. We'll make time, buddy. First tune. Ready? Go! All these arrows pointing all over the screens are holes that you need to kept tell throughout the entire scroll of the arrow. Whilst you do all the other stuff that's going on as well. with a hand from all of the, all of the screen there. Awesome. You're awesome. Hello. Yeah. Woo. So next up we have Megalara Garuda, still a 10.7. And to our knowledge, this is the only song in Ubit that's level 10 or above on all the difficulties, right? So even if you play like a basic advanced or extreme version of the song, it will still be a level 10 or above. But yeah, let's go for the extreme, right? Yeah, the hardest possible. Also, first contribution of Second the um, composer Siyun to the series. Go!
you can see he has to anchor a lot on the top, well, the bottom uh, right and left for the holes. I just got word that tomorrow is actually the anniversary for you, Beat. Happy 14 tomorrow! <laughs> so, uh, Arjik, do you have anything for us right now? Oh yeah, we got plan A. We got a $10 donation from Lexi Vleski that just says, drop the bass. Um, yeah, let's head into the, apparently, second to last song because we met that incentive of 1116 so coming up now is prayer the first 10.8 we got for you tonight Ready? oh the only 10.8 um, originally from sound voltex another bemani game series and um, what makes this hard is all the hold notes that you have to press while you have to do a shitload of other inputs a dollar for every hold note in this song. Such a joyful song, right? You can leave it on the score screen for a second. Uh, leave it on the score screen for a second. Arjik, do you have anything left before we head into the final song? Let's get through a couple here. We got a $75 donation from Wiseman167236 that just says, Juby, let's go. And we have a $50 donation from KZ that says, Vincent, the problem of being faster than light is that you can only live in darkness. <laughs> <laughs> well, coming up now is 1116. Um, this song is at 10.9, uh, so get, take it away. Tell us all you know about it. So, uh, this is the first 10.9 in Juby, and here you'll really see um, how Yubi charters like to visualize um, lyrical elements. You'll see what I mean. Yeah, I will try to talk you through, uh, through it, but I will not have that mental capacity to do that. But we will start off instantly by counting the song's name. So, yeah, let's go. go. As you see there, they try to write out the digits one, one, and then a six. Advance make it in time. 
Crazy. Got it, folks. Arjik, any closing words with donations before we thank our runner? Absolutely amazing run. There are lots of love coming in from this one. We have a $20 donation from Kiam Hall that says, shout outs from your boys at Kamitachi. Get those scores, get the drip. We also have a $50 donation from Popadara that says, shout outs to 60 Lim. Watching this from home. They've all been loving this. An amazing run there. Thank you, Arjik. So, Vincent, do you have any shout-outs you want to make to friends, family, rivals, enemies? All my enemies, yeah. <laughs> thank you for playing. So yeah, I would like to extend a very big thank you to Vincent coming down here displaying your skill in U-Beat. Um, thank, thank you for inviting me. Yeah, thank you. I, you should have all the thanks. So I didn't have to do this one because it wouldn't have been nearly as amazing. Um, also, uh, yeah, bye, bye, yeah, time. <laughs> also, I would like you guys to know that Vincent is not done yet, because tomorrow he will be displaying Guitadora with the full, complete drum set. So stay tuned for that. We have some great incentive for that going on as well. So let's see you guys tomorrow again. Thank you so much, Vincent. Thank you, Arjik. Thank you, ESA. Get hype. Thank you all.